writing competitive offers in this market is really important, especially if you're in a multiple offer situation. So a lot of advice that I give to my clients surround a few different things. And the first one is always deposit size. The deposit is a sign of good faith that you wanna move forward with the transaction. So oftentimes the larger deposit you can give, it can give you a really competitive edge against other offers. Not very often, but from time to time, we actually see sellers leave a bit of money on the table price-wise because the deposit was so sizable. Now, the other tip I always give my clients is write as few conditions as possible. I hate to say it, but home inspections scare sellers as conditions, especially in multiple offers. And oftentimes, if there's five or six or seven offers on the table, there's gonna be quite a few that have no inspection in it. So if that's important to you, I highly recommend we actually get that inspection done prior to us submitting our offer. Now getting back to the seller, one of the other big pieces of advice I give is connecting on the human level. You know, when you're going through someone's house, you know, don't open up their drawers and look at their clothes, don't open up their fridge, but hey, look what artwork's on the wall. Look what family photos are on the wall. Look what special events that have happened in their lives in that specific home and write a letter to connect with them on a human level. Because that human connection can make the difference between you getting the house and you know just being offer number 12 or offer number two. Okay, the last thing I always tell my clients is make a strong offer, okay? We're gonna write a number price point wise that makes sense for you, that's within your comfortability level, but also makes sense and what's in line with what the comparable sold say and how many offers are on the table. So many times clients actually leave money on the table and the property sells for a number that they were willing to spend because they were hoping for that second callback. So many times sellers are stressed out, they want it over, they take the best offer right out of the gate. Make your best offer and if it sells for more, it wasn't meant to be. If you've got friends or family that have lost out on a few offers and would really, really, really need this advice, share it with them. Maybe I can help them out and win them a house.